Hey everybody, Thomas here, and folks, I must first apologize. It has been quite a while since my last video. Uh, right now, I'm tracking seven days, and by the time I get this video out, it might even be nine days. And I apologize. Uh, work has been crazy. Last weekend, when I, I usually shoot my videos on the weekend, but last weekend, we had to dock a vessel. So I was heavily engaged in that uh, for Saturday, Sunday, and then we finished docking it yesterday on Monday. So... Long story short, here's what we have. So a customer brought me this log. This log, I wouldn't say it's been butchered, but yeah, as you can see, they took a chainsaw to this. Not them, not the, not the customer, but someone else who we got the logs from. They took a, what appears to be like about an 18 inch bar chainsaw to this in hopes of making what appears to be like some three inch thick slabs, top and bottom, and then some other stuff. I'm gonna see what I can work with. So here's my attack plan. When you get a, a goofy log like this, so I have it in this orientation just to show you kind of what it looks like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flip the log over, use this as the base and everything. We'll get a nice clean cut on the opposing side, and then we'll flip the log over 180 and then trim up this top side. What the customer is looking for is max width one inch boards by the length of the log. So he doesn't really have a specific size in mind. These are going to go into his shop. He just wants uh, random width, but all the same thickness at one inch. And he's going to line a shop. It's kind of like what I'm doing inside my shop. I like the look. It looks very cool and rustic. And we're not wasting. We're utilizing everything we can possibly off the log. So again, attack method we're going to use here. We're going to flip the log over, cut it, flip it back over this way, cut it. Then I'll cut one side off. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and start setting the computer from there. Because, again, I don't need to use my computer until the final cuts. Uh, the final cut, really. Because he doesn't care on the width. So I'm going to go for a max yield on width. And we'll see. Uh, he dropped off a couple of logs. This is the only log that has been kind of butchered with a chainsaw. The rest of them are clean-looking logs. Some of those will be turned into some 6 by 6 of the smaller ones. But this is bald cypress. You see what the log looks like right now. And I think you're going to be impressed with what this log looks like once we actually open it up. I've been very fortunate to cut bald cypress two other times, and I've been very happy. I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this will be the first time on video I've cut this. So this will be uh, a first time video cutting. I've cut it before, but first time on video. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a little bit of time lapse here in the beginning, and then we'll do some real time shooting whenever I get the log into a manageable size. So there'll be some turning and everything else, but stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so only a slight change to what I was doing. Unfortunately, I had to do a really deep cut on that first one there. Uh, and then I had to do a second cut <laughs> because there were more chainsaw marks into it. And I cleaned it up pretty good right now. I just, I don't know how far this mark's gonna go in here. It might not go in that far, but there is also a little rotten spot at the bottom there. So we'll see. I've got a decent blade on there. The blade that I've actually already cut up three or so logs with, maybe, maybe even four. This might, maybe this is the fourth or fifth log. Not 100% sure. So we'll go ahead and try this. I'm going to try to get where you can see the cuts in there. And uh, we'll just see what we can do. Now I should be able to cut this decently fast, even with the dull blade, because it is a pretty soft wood. So stay tuned. Cutting will commence. All the boards will be in one inch boards. My intention is to not have to bring anything off. I'm going to leave everything on there and take it off at one time at the end.
All right, folks, not too shabby. We're gonna go ahead and calculate how many board foot we have here. Now, the log length is 12 foot long. It's actually 12 foot one. We're just gonna say it's 12 foot because it makes the number so much easier. And I already know each of those boards is one inch thick because the computer is pretty dang accurate on this Timber King. I mean, literally one inch, if you have your, your machine dialed in, it's gonna hit one inch literally every single time. The top board here, of course, is a waste board, so we won't count that one. That's just, you know, off cut there. But with the stack right here, we have 11 boards. 11 boards is what we got out of that. And there are they are each one inch thick by six inches wide and 12 foot long. So the calculation that I do, everyone does a little bit differently, and hopefully I'll put this up on the screen. I do one times six times 144. Because what I did is I convert everything into inches. So convert 12 foot into inches is 144 inches. So you take that number right there. So really, then you're gonna have to divide by 144, which is 144 cubic inches is in one board foot. And as we all know, one board foot is one inch of thickness, 12 inches long, 12 inches wide. That right there is 144 cubic inches. So again, if you know you're going to have to divide by that and you, if you have 144 inches in there, one times six is all you need to know. So each board is six board foot. So six board foot is what we have times 11, so 66 board foot. And if you multiply that by your price, and my price on softwoods is 40 cents a board foot, you do 66 times 0 0.40. 0 0.4, that's fine if you want to, yeah. Anyways, uh, that yields, I think, uh, what, 26.4, so $26.40 is what it costs for me to cut this up where I charge 40 cents a board foot. The yield on this was pretty good. Unfortunately, like I said, we had to take some deep cuts off of there, but uh, that is unfortunate because there, there were going to be some pretty boards. Like this board right here, I mean, this board right here would be absolutely gorgeous, but the other side is gnarly messed up nasty uh yeah it's just no good but 66 board foot out of one log um not too shabby i think i averaged uh most of the logs between 60 and 50 board foot what we'll get and the customer needs about i think we calculated about 100 excuse me 1400 board foot now the good thing is if you're dealing in one inch material just like this your board footage calculation will equate to towards your square footage calculation so if all the dimensions are one inch thick if he needs 1400 square foot he needs 1400 board foot now again if if we cut these boards at half inch thickness that would be you know you'd be uh, half the amount required so you have to make sure you know what the thickness you're dealing with it, it's kind of confusing sometimes converting between square footage if you're covering a surface and board footage you just have to think okay you know what what thickness am i dealing with and what area does that cover it it's not too hard but it just it takes a little bit of time because a lot of people they tell me hey i'm doing a wall of this many thousand square feet you know it might be two thousand three thousand square foot and they want to cut everything at say seven eighths or three quarter. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's gonna take me a second to figure it out. But I hope this video was interesting. It was uh, exciting to do and cut. We are gonna look at a couple of these boards here. Let me throw this off to the side so we can see. I do have someone coming over here shortly. Let's see. I mean, they're pretty. They're they're not as dramatic as I thought they were going to be. Uh, we had one one time that was absolutely just like you know the the color difference was quite amazing in fact what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, a bucket of water and we'll throw a couple on here so you can see what this grain looks like it i mean it's a really tight grain wood on here i'm liking the grain tightness but uh it just doesn't have the color that i was hoping for it's not that i'm not impressed with it, it i mean it looks beautiful but uh, i was just hoping for just a a little bit more. <laughs> all right, stay tuned. Let me get a bucket of water. We'll throw this on here and see what it looks like. All right, folks. Always getting delayed over something. I had some uh, customers stop by and dropped off some logs. So fortunately, I lost a little bit of light, but I still think we can get a good shot here.
All right, so there we go. That worked out pretty well. You can see the grain on this, especially this stuff out here. Pretty, you know, contrasting grains. And if you look really right here, it's hard to see, but that's some pretty tight grain. So, overall though, we, we saved this cypress log from the chainsaw massacre that there was. <laughs> uh, I'm happy way it did turn out. I think the customer's going to be really happy. I'll take some pictures for him, and uh, I'm sure I'll show him this video too so they see what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, pretty, I mean, that's just gorgeous in that area right there. I am very interested to see what a wall with this look of like this would look like now unfortunately i don't think he has enough what do you call it um cypress logs to finish out that wall but if we interchange cypress and pine or cypress and cedar cypress and something it'll be kind of a unique wall now these ones right here again came out to be one by six boards it just so happened to be just because we had to clear the uh, chainsaw marks i think the other logs would yield some larger ones but again we're going for max width and these are going to be pretty. So uh, please like, subscribe. The channel's growing. I am also working on a video. I'm going to be contacting a few blade manufacturers and see if we can do a test video with different blades and uh, see what the uh, survey says. But uh, hopefully we get some of this stuff cleaned up here soon. <laughs> I've got these poplar logs. I've got some other stuff up there. Just got a lot of stuff i got to get cleaned up out of here, but the rain has just not helped. I mean, it's every day, just like that, you'll see just monstrous clouds and thunderstorms so stay tuned please like subscribe we'll see you around